Well, we're focusing on uh, Wednesday afternoon, and it's a nice one, but still dry. Still dry and a little warmer than average, warm. but uh, not by too much. Low mid 80s, that's just a little bit above our average high in the upper 70s, but we've been so consistently above normal for so long. It would be nice to have some, maybe just a few days below average this time of year so we can enjoy some of this uh, beautiful uh, spring weather. 83 degrees is where we are right now, so, you know, if you're out in that sunshine and humidity for very long, it's a little bit uncomfortable. By 8 o'clock tonight, uh, 78, our evening planning. 10 p.m. forecast, 73 degrees with the clouds thinning out a little more at that hour. About the same out in the Hill Country today, low 80s at this hour in most areas, 79 in Fredericksburg out at the Gillespie County Airport, usually a little cooler than everybody else. 82 and 83 degrees all across the metro area at this hour. Our eastern counties in the low to mid 80s, 84 degrees in LaGrange. Austin's 83, skies partly to mostly cloudy, same out at ABIA and 85 degrees, winds south Easterly, 12 miles per hour in the city, southeast at 9 at the airport. Sunset at 757 tonight, getting closer and closer to 8 o'clock. Pollen count today, mold again high at uh, almost 2,000. That's a little up from yesterday. Pecan and oak uh, back into the medium category today, but that was it on the uh, tree pollens. And grass today, grass pollen, 39, low. Around Texas, Dallas at 79, Houston at 82, 90 down in Laredo. Actually been a couple of tornado warnings this afternoon over in far east Texas in Henderson County. Didn't get any reports of any touchdowns. They were Doppler indicated tornadoes. Uh, very isolated activity there with little disturbance moving across the Arklatex. We're underneath a ridge of high pressure here in our part of the state, so these storms to the east and storms to the west aren't able to make it all the way here into our area, but eventually they will. Notice how we're seeing more of them today out in west Texas and in eastern New Mexico. That's the first of what will be several waves of low pressure coming in off the Pacific Ocean. This first one moving out of southern California here is going to shoot straight to the north and really not influence our weather very much, gradually bring those storms a little bit closer. The next one, though, that is still up here moving now south of the Gulf of California is going to to track down into New Mexico before it takes off to the northeast. That one will get close enough to us that we're likely to see some uh, fairly widespread. It remains to be seen how far south the development will be, but about Sunday, Monday, we'll have at least a 50 50 chance of seeing some rain and thunderstorms down here in our area, possibly even some severe weather. Between now and then, some of these cells back to the west could get into the hill country, or we might see an early morning streamer shower coming in off the Gulf of Mexico, maybe Friday morning, but nothing real significant, at least for the next two days. Our best chance will again come about Sunday, Monday. Our lows tonight, uh, not all that low. Mid-60s, warm and muggy. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, looking at low 80s. So overnight tonight, low clouds coming in. We start with the low clouds, some light fog in the morning. That lifts. We end up at 83 tomorrow afternoon. And on that seven-day forecast, you'll see the rain chances. Real small the next two days. This weekend, they increase a little bit. 20% Saturday, up to 30% Sunday, and 50% on Monday, followed by a cold front that will dry us out toward the middle of the week. We'll be right back.